activate the phone and immediately an unknown number goes ping. The text reads, meet up at the pit. I think we should go in there, text them, and then we can listen for the text to be received. You look out into the dance floor and see Zane Dark Shadow. I would like to text um, OMW. And as you send it, Zane's pocket lights up. There is a young woman. She takes your hand, kisses it, and goes, I'm Tracker. Tracker is talking to you. She leans forward and kisses you on the mouth. Duh! Oh, actually, I don't kiss. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. All over, people hit the deck as their bodies start to change. Oh. and welcome back to Fantasy High. Last week, our intrepid heroes were deep in the Black Pit, Elmville's number one music venue. All the assorted patrons of the bar and club have just burst forth into their true monstrous form. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, now spread out across the dance floor in the various rooms and venues, and our heroes are scattered and in disarray. Here we see the board before us. DJ Brains at the turntable, two massive pulsing amps behind him. Zane Dark Shadow raving it up on the floor. Riz hiding behind a bar stool. Fig and Gorgug hanging back in the dance hall, looking on, having just seen the phone or crystal in Zane's pocket light up, being texted from Johnny Spell's burner. In this bar area, we have Kristen Applebee's talking about faith and getting uh, a, a romantic proposition from a young woman who has just freaked the f out and turned <laughs> into a ravening werewolf. And as far from the music as possible, our two most patrician party members, <laughs> Adine and Fabian, in the whiskey bar area as far from the music as they can get. We leap into combat, the first to act as the noise rage. <laughs> You see over the pool table, Fabian, the guy across from the other player goes, You cheater! And his body starts to transform. You are first to act. Uh, no, are they transforming with like, can, like it's, things are about to get violent. Like it's like, it's clearly a fight or? Um, you see from that and you begin to hear the screams from the other part of the room, but your lightning fast reflexes afford you the ability to do something based right. on whether or not you think something bad's about uh, to happen. I think something bad's about to happen. I turn to a and I say, we need to find everyone. Uh, and I take off uh, toward the back room. Uh, so awesome. I would plan on dashing, <clears throat> if anything. Uh, you take your move, so it's gonna be one, two, Three, you have used 15 feet of movement. This room is filled with people hulking out into weirdness. Just ah, so this was the mosh pit from earlier. Okay. Uh, Mero, the, the particular, uh, the werewolf that bought the drink is over by the pool table here. That's the guy the that bucket. bought me a drink? That's the guy that bought you a drink. Who slugged you in the face? I'm up, I don't trust uh, him. You've used 15 uh, feet of movement. Um, uh, you have another 15 feet left, uh, but you see this room. You look through the window here. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, uh, 14. 14. Um, you see DJ Brains. You do not see Riz, who is more hidden than he's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, you see DJ Brains, and you see Zane Dark Shadow all the way through, because he's got these weird glowing rave things around him, right? Okay. Um, you have the rest of your movement left. Uh, you can, of course, use a dash action if you want as well. Oh, I need to wait for a dine. Uh, can I, uh, I'll dodge? Uh, yes, do you want to stay in the door and not use any more of your movement? And uh, use your dodge I'll use action? more, I guess I'll move to war along the wall, I guess. Okay. Um. Uh, you use your dodge action. So you move three more spaces here, mm -hmm. and you guys see that the quickest to act after, act after Fabian are a group of people that you thought were just gothy or like didn't get out much, and you now see are clearly vampires. Uh, this tall vampire with an open trench coat uh, grabs the person to his left, sinks his fangs into her neck, and exsanguinates her completely. Just 
and she drops lifeless to the ground as he says, <laughs> he says, Sasha, Lord of Whispers, calls for the blood hunt! Daddy. Daddy. Uh, uh, this vampire um, is going to make a perception roll um, uh, and starts running straight for you, Fig. Um, other vampires are going to act as well. It's going to be. Um, Can you see you? Completely. Yeah, uh, this uh, uh, one of the vampires from the pinball machine rushes, grabs a young woman at the bar, and uh, begins to exsanguinate. Um, the rest of our vampires go. Uh, it just turns into a total feeding frenzy uh, over here, and you see. Uh, Kristen, that one of the vampires attacks you. Uh, what is your armor class currently? 18. 18. Yeah. Um, you take uh, nine points of damage. <laughs> Vampire uh, <laughs> slashes across your face Ooh. and goes, ah, little human girl, you look nice and warm. <laughs> um, oh, it's now Adine's turn. Um, well, all I've seen is this werewolf guy turning. Do I know what phase of the moon it is? As a wizard, is that uh, a thing that I would... Give me an arcana check. Great. Ooh, 11. You know it's not the full moon. Okay, um... Uh, I would like to run as close to this bouncer as I can get with a disengage action. Okay. So n hopefully nobody attacks me. Okay, Rad, go ahead and move. Uh, disengage means you can only move six squares. If you take a dash action, Oh, you then I 12. will take a dash action. 12. Uh, Rad, uh, you run as fast as you can, sprinting towards the exit. Um, uh, now <laughs> the zombies are going to go. Um, zombies? Jesus. Zombies? And werewolf. Oh. Are there any just innocent bystanders? Dude, they, we saw people get eaten. Yeah. Okay. This <laughs> man at the bar. It's so sad. He looks like. Oh. He <laughs> looks like such a sweet. He's, so, he's, he's definitely here because he's in like. He's got a book he's under his arm. His oh no. no. Uh, I mean, just clubbed to death. <laughs> wow. Just, just, just with, with their. They're not even hitting with their fists. They're like hitting with the like just. Forearm, uh, crack his skull wide open. Um, uh, let's to see. eat his brains. One, two, three. Oh, they're coming at you. For both of them? Uh, yeah, it looks like they're coming at both of you guys. <laughs> Baby in hurry. <laughs> um, uh, they're gonna take some swings at you. Uh, that's gonna be three zombies on Fig. What's your AC? 12. Okay, that's gonna be uh, 12 points of damage to you. Uh, and uh, Gorgog, what is yours? It's 13. Uh, one hits you for three points of damage. Bam. Um, Riz, that's you. DJ looks okay with all of this. Uh, go ahead and make an insight check. Uh, 19. As the music spins, you see that the glamour on the DJ's face changes. The DJ has a rotting, necrotic face covered by a paltry illusion. Just a, a zombie, a fully undead, necrotic DJ. Cool. I'm going to run up on stage. Uh, Rad, uh, you're gonna take your movement. Yep. You get up there. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to actually I'll 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 use my insightful fighting okay. uh, to see if I can get sneak attack on him. And so it's versus it's, his deception, right? Yeah, it's my insight versus his deception. Twelve. Nat one. <laughs> Brennan. Nat one. Kids. So God. Nice, dude. Right. dude. I will just swing. Throw that dice away. With a rapier. And that's pretty good. That's a 20 to hit. 20 hits? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. 11. 
And then I'm also gonna use Fury of the Small to do another three damage to him, so 14. 14 points of damage? Yeah. Woo! Fury of the ball. Mm -hmm. Fury of the yeah. ball. Fury of the ball. Uh, you run up on stage and hit him through this rotting, a, a pustule of green bile bursts out of the side of him, and he reaches out onto the turntable and goes, oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, you see that uh, that is Riz's turn. Uh, Zane uh, goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let him run. Um, that's going to be Gorgug. That's fine. We'll see him at school. Okay. Yeah, we'll find him at school. Um, I'm there gonna, is no exit, though, right? Sorry. I'm going to go into a rage. Gorgug thinks about singing a song, but it's just too much. He <laughs> just goes to a rage. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, not to mention this song is particularly, like, infecting. I think it was yelling rage at one yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rage, uh, Gorgug's rage. Uh, I'm going to uh, attack this one uh, with, I'm gonna uh, use Frenzy and attack, well, I'm gonna attack that person then use Frenzy on another. Okay, so. Sheesh. That's only a 13. I mean, she's wearing 13 no for a zombie hits. Good, okay. Yes. Um, so that would be d12. Oh, d12 plus, three. plus five. Uh, that's uh, six, 11. 11? Uh, badly injured. Uh, so that's your action. You whoop, hack into it. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll just use Frenzy and attack it again. Yeah, go for it. That hits, uh, and then that'll be uh, eight. Uh, eight points of damage. Um, that's nineteen. Uh, this zombie is f***ed up. Is oh. No, she's uh, still standing. Sheesh. Uh, as you uh, lay into this zombie with your axe, uh, that is now going to be. Look at it. She's uh, run past him. <laughs> Um, need to disengage. Uh, you guys don't have anyone in this room anymore, but I know what's happening. Um, uh, this uh, poor soul is leapt on by these two. Um, is that Daniel Boone? <laughs> the Daniel Boone. Poor Daniel Boone. That's how he went. Did you know that? Whoa, Whoa what's that other guy? <laughs> There's a guy dressed exactly like you, but a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> what a copycat. <laughs> Weird. Uh, Who's the dude with the helmet? Uh, the dude with the helmet is just a partier in a fredded tank top who, he was here with a helmet before. Okay, great. <laughs> and he, is he coming for me? He's got a big anarchy sign on the side of the helmet and he's coming for you. He looks over and goes, hey man, this ain't your scene. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, um, these guys have disadvantage to hit. Um, what's your armor class, my man? 18. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Um, oh, yeah. You, uh, as these guys just try to get their claws, like, come on, man. <laughs> um, uh, this werewolf turns around, um, uh, leaps over the table at this vampire. Okay. Whoa. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, takes some swings and partially mauls that vampire. Um, as the vampire shrieks out in pain. Oh, um, yeah, f each other up. Yeah, maybe uh, we could hide. Uh, you see that Tracker turns to the vampire that attacked you. Romantic. Uh, and <laughs> leaps on her, scratching her eyes out with her claws. Okay. Uh, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be, uh, Kristen. Um, okay, cool. Then I'm going to, uh, run and jump up on the bar. Uh, sure, if you'd like. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to try to get as close to this door as I can. Cool, that's going to be an acrobatics check to get up on that. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> we know how well this goes. 18. Cool. Uh, hell yeah. Oh wait, what's my acrobatics? Minus three, so 15. 15 will do it. Oh, great. Three. Good thing. <laughs> Good all yeah. Uh, you rush past. You're gonna get. A, you're gonna get an attack of opportunity here from the one vampire off to your side. Oh, cool. Um, 
is going to go. Uh, hits you with the claws for another uh, six, nine points of damage. Uh, uh, so, Kristen, uh, how far would you like to run? Uh, as far as I can. Okay, you're taking a dash action, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, what's up with that dude? Uh, there's a portly looking red winged demon guy who's like. Was he like that before? Yeah. Oh, he was like that before. He walked past. Oh, okay. He's got a. He's got like a green shirt on that says "Got Souls." And just so like, he didn't get. So he's not a bad is guy. Is he the devil? You don't, as you rush past, give me an insight check as you rush past him. Daddy? <laughs> insight. Ah, oh, not one. Yeah. With Jesus this Christ. side of the table. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, yeah. this guy is here to help you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. All right, cool. I would like to cast Spiritual Weapon. Ooh. That's a bonus action. Ooh, Dope. I cool. Like uh, it takes the shape of a, a giant holy corn. It's a giant it's a ear of stock. corn. <laughs> it looks exactly like the corn cuties, but good. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Uh, who would you like to attack with this uh, corn? Uh, can it enter the next room? Um, you can't see the next room, so you couldn't order it. But you can like hold, basically cast it in the next room, so that on the next round it'll be there waiting for you. Cool. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll cool. cast it into the room that everyone else Dope. is in. Sick. Yes, so in that room, a big <laughs> flowing corn cob appears, <laughs> floating in the air. <laughs> Uh, that is now going to be. I see uh, it and try to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> the corn cuties, they're back. Um, uh, these, the humans start freaking out and running um, for the exit. These guys start pouring out of this door here. Um, this guy. That man had no business. Also this with place. the book. This is cool. A lot of people just lot of books. books in their concert. Yeah. <laughs> Couple hours to kill and just go hang out at this bar. <laughs> There's a DJ, I'll bring my book. <laughs> There's a, these humans are dead. on stage. Uh, yeah, these guys, uh, this guy's dead. Uh, these guys straight up start fleeing for the run off stage. Uh, Cowards. Drum, drummer has to, he brings yeah. his drums. Drummer is dead. Cowards. Oh, no. You guys don't live ability. your aesthetic. That is going to be your wisdom. Uh, this guy hides behind the bar. You probably had a um, is this a human? Plus a plus plus a plus a uh, oh. He's just very focused on playing. Yes, he starts playing. <laughs> uh, or there's a werewolf there. He runs into the other room and, <laughs> uh, uh, and hates what his choice. Um, <laughs> and this guy jumps up and begins and flies over the bar. Oh, Daddy? Is this a person over here? Yeah, uh, she's the like the coach check person. Coach check. Coach check. Uh, doesn't know anything. Right, so you heard some yelling, but that's normal. He's um, just like, as people are fleeing, being like, D uh, you have your coat here? <laughs> <laughs> tickets, <laughs> tickets, tickets. Uh, that is now going to be Fig. Um, can I just like flip over Gorgug to hide behind him? Uh, you want to flip over Gorgug to yeah. hide behind him? Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> you, you can actually, actually, you could move. You could take a disengage and move through Gorgug's space for sure. Okay. But do I have to take a disengage? Can I just use my action to go underneath Gorgug's legs and hide behind him? You can take your move action to move through Gorgug, but they will get a tax opportunity on you unless you take a disengage action. Okay, I'm gonna take that disengage then. So I'm gonna go disengage and go behind Gorgug. One, two. Um, and uh, I guess maybe oh, this guy's gonna. You can go me. farther if you want, because that's it's two squares of movement to go through Gorgug. If you want to move further back, you can. I do want to move way further back. I just, I'm, I guess I'm gonna go way back into the corner as far as I can. Close to the corner. Um, and then, Three, but can I also four. use my, even though I use disengage, can I at least give some, uh, use bardic inspiration, because that's bonus action? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, you got a little bardic inspiration. What is that about? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's my turn for now. Uh, awesome, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and need Riz to make a wisdom saving throw. Eighteen. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. uh, you see uh, DJ Brains goes <laughs> Now all the big little children always try to lose their minds. <laughs> and you feel the music vibrating your bones and trying to rob you of your sanity. But you hold strong. Whoa. You are yourself still. I just uh, hate house music so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is now going to be um, back to Fabian. All right. Uh, 
How breakable does that glass look? Honestly, dude, pretty breakable. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna <laughs> Hell yeah. act, I'm gonna action surge to disengage from oh, these two nice. dudes, then dash through uh, this window right here. Uh, this the sad rules. devil dad. That's a hundred percent rules. <laughs> yeah, that, that, watch out for my dad, dad. dude. That's a hundred percent rules. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Uh, so you take your action surge, disengage, no attack opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you have four uh, uh, squares of movement left. You're using the dash action as well. Yes. Go ahead and give me an athletics check to smash that. Uh, Hell yes. Yeah. Um, you f like a just a f gazelle. Just, <laughs> uh, like protect your face right into the shoulder. Glass doesn't even remain on your clothes as you're through the other side. Uh, you have four squares of movement left. How do you want to use it? Uh, uh, I think I got eyes on my main man Riz. So can I bolt the bar? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, go ahead and just give me another acrobatics check, real quick. Uh, Twenty-four. Uh, you are well and truly behind the bar, uh, so you <laughs> the window, no glass on you, uh, and are behind the bar, hell yeah. uh, having used your move. Hell um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, that so window, by the way, is broken. Great. So, Sweet. That's um, helpful for everyone. Uh, the vampires are going to go now. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> Whoa. It's going swords. right through that beam of light? Um, uh, it is going right through that beam of light. Um, uh, these two turn here. Um, vampires. Um, these guys swarm over oh, here. God uh, damn. Are killing people. This is a blood bam. <laughs> Literally. More, more werewolves fighting vampires. Um, uh, I'm going to need uh, a Christian. What's your armor class again? 18. 18. Uh, a vampire leaps up on the bar after you and says, where are you going? Don't you want to get to know me? <laughs> uh, and your halo glows brighter. <laughs> uh, I don't yet. Not for five years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah. Um, uh, these two vampires uh, start going to work on this werewolf. Uh, their attacks do literally nothing. You see them connecting with the werewolf and punching it. Um, uh, this guy behind Gorgog is gonna start swinging at him. Um, oh, I've, been, I've had my eyes on this two-sorted man for a while. Uh, what's your AC again, dude? Uh, it is 13. Uh, 13? Um, that's going to be um, uh, nine points of damage to you. Halved? What would you uh, do? Halved, yes. So four or five. Uh, I believe it's rounded It's down? rounded down. It's rounded down, oh. yeah. Uh, rounded down. Uh, so four ah. points of damage uh, as he slashes you with a bright <laughs> silvery katana and shouts out, uh, Maltasia, go get the silver weaponry as fast as you can. It looks like the dogs have gotten out of their kennel. Um, oh my god. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we fight the most erotic villains? <laughs> They're so sexy. <laughs> uh, uh, these guys both uh, join in on uh, Tracker over here. So sorry. Um, uh, you guys see? Dude, I, I don't think she was right for you. Uh, that's. I don't know who was right for me. Oh. I um, feel that. Well. Uh, that is now going to be Adine's turn. Uh, I'm gonna run out and like. At, yell to the coat check and then yell outside like this is bad, it's bad, it's bad. It's vampires and it, 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 this is this is this is werewolves and I don't know what. Um, uh, you run out to yell that to the bouncer. Uh huh. Um, as you run out, you see the bouncer is going. Not again! Not again! I run back in. <laughs> cool. You move a couple more squares in. Unless you move six squares back in. Um, and then I guess I will. Um, uh, well, have you, you've moved now six squares, right? Oh, yes, so, you, so I'm done again. I think you're done again. <laughs> um, uh, you mean, no, you actually you have one action left. You've moved six squares, all told. You oh, have a okay. free bit of speaking. Um, then I will cast uh, Ray of Sickness on this werewolf that's right in front of me. Great. What's the save on that? Constitution. Uh, and what happens if he fails? 
Uh, he pukes a bunch. Great. Uh, 2d8 poison damage. Ooh, go ahead and roll 2d8. Six and four, 10. Ooh, awesome. Uh, you raise your hand, ray of bilious green energy surges out of your outstretched fingers and he whines in pain as the horrible sickness overtakes him. Um, that is Adine's turn. Uh, it is now going to be the zombie's turn. Oh, wow, what a bad time. <laughs> um, uh, these guys are all God. gonna take swings at Gorgug. <laughs> uh, what's your armor class again, my man? 13. Oh no. Yeah, I'm raging so it's half damage at least, but. Uh. You take nine points of damage spread over three. So five, which becomes two, and then two, so four points of damage from zombies wailing on you. <laughs> You're just f hulking out. Yeah. Thing um, is watching and she just cackles. <laughs> Uh, you see that DJ Brains flicks a little uh, thing on it and says, creatures of the night, come to aid your master. Uh, and these zombies uh, gather around Riz. I'm coming, the ball. <laughs> um, uh, they're gonna take some swings at you, Riz. Uh, what's your AC? 15. Uh, one of them hits you for uh, three points of damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll some acrobatics checks for these zombies to get over the bar. Um, you see that uh, all but one zombie are completely thwarted by the bar. Just, <laughs> as they try to get over it. One manages to get up there, takes a swing at you, uh, Fabian, um, and misses. Um, that's gonna be Riz. Uh, okay, I am going to try to use my insightful fighting once again. Go for it. Hell yeah. Yes, that's a 23. 23 is gonna do it. Okay, please hit. I will do so much damage if I hit. You know what, I'll use this. This is lucky now. <laughs> this is lucky now. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. That's 2d6 and a d8. Six. Hell yeah. Wow. 11, 16, 20. 20, bitch. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. And I'm looking at Fabian to see if he's impressed while I do it. Cannonball I'm not. Over you. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Did you see me jump through that glass? I'm sorry, did you watch like me smash there? glass, vault, <laughs> dodge, or something? This guy's the leader. <laughs> this guy's the leader, and I'm the ball. After three turns, you finally land a hit, and yes, it's, ugh, whatever. <laughs> um, that's uh, <laughs> incredible. You skewer DJ Brains. <laughs> that's gotta hurt. Uh, meanwhile, he's just going. <sighs> uh, seemingly unable to feel pain, uh, but looking very badly injured now. Um, that's going to be uh, Zane. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, Five. Uh, you can take an attack of opportunity if you want. Five, six. Yeah, I am going to. I'm gonna f take an attack of opportunity. Um. All right. Is nine gonna hit him? No, it does not. Okay, so I swing at him with my bass guitar, and then when it doesn't hit, I pretend like I was just dancing. <laughs> Why are you still dancing? Whatever. I'll see you at school, dude. Um. It's cool that we both got in, right? Make <laughs> mm -hmm. a deception check for me. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be uh, 23. Um, uh, yes, you see, he looks through the door um, with all of these vampires being on the other side. You see, he goes, <sighs> oh, sick. Uh, and uh, stands back and <gasps> covers himself in magic and vanishes. You little piece of um, uh, make an arcana check if you'd like. Seven. He did something cool. <laughs> he turned invisible. You don't need arcana to see that. <laughs> um, uh, that's <laughs> Gorgug. Okay. Uh, I think this is the one that I've been wailing on, right? Yes. All right, I'm going to hit 
her. Can I can I do the frenzy after I move? If I hit her and then friend and then move and then frenzy. Uh, you can hit that one, move and then frenzy. Okay, yes. cool. I'm just gonna attack her. Cool. <sighs> That's eight. Eight hits a zombie. Wow. Oh. Interesting. Ooh. Thank goodness. Uh, one d twelve. Not dexterous. Plus five. Wait, that's a, uh, oh, that's a uh, 14. Woo! Would that help? Uh, you <laughs> decapitate this zombie in front of you, um, and you are free to take your move. They will get a tax opportunity on you, but you're free to do so. I'm gonna take the those attacks of opportunity and try to get as, as close to the DJ as I can. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Cool. So I wanna throw a hand axe at the DJ equipment. At the DJ equipment? Yeah. Uh, rad, go for it. Um, also, give me a perception check real quick. Okay. Uh, that is only a, where's perception? Nine? Uh, nine's not gonna, you don't notice anything. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll your attack though. Okay. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> 10. <laughs> Ten total. And Ten. I'm, you uh, axe flash from you and clang. So what about off your bardic inspiration? Oh, is it too late to use it? Uh, uh, you can use it if you'd like. All right. I'll let you. I'll, I'll allow it. Oh, six. Okay. F Sixteen. Uh, uh, six. Um, you hurl it. Go ahead and roll damage. Five. All right. Uh, so that's ten. Um, you uh, unloose. Uh, uh, unleash this. Unleash. You throw. A hand axe, <laughs> and it connects with one of the amps behind DJ Brains. As it strikes deep within it, it goes and you see yellow lightning fork out from the amp, grab the axe, and forcibly repel it, knitting itself back together with magic. Oh. This amp right here oh, appears, no now that you're, that perception check wasn't great, now that you've thrown an axe at it, you notice this amp appears to be magical. Of, of the two? Of the two, that oh. one appears to be magical. Um, uh, but you've noticed a f dope magic amp. Um, that's going to be the werewolves. Oh, do those guys get attacks on me? Sorry. Oh, they do. Yeah, Great. they super do. Thank you for the yeah, reminder. Yeah. It's very yeah. similar. What is, what is your dex and your constitution modifier? Uh, Constitution's two, dex is one. Oh, wow. Okay. That's why your AC is so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you take, um, I'll have it for you. You take two damage, two damage, and two damage. Um, so six. Six oh, altogether. Okay. I, I halved it for you. Oh, gotcha. Um, and then uh, the vampire takes a swing. The sword hits and deals you uh, seven points of damage. Halved to three. Okay. Um, werewolves act now. Um, uh, you see these guys uh, rush this human here. Uh, toast, this human gets rushed um, uh, and is uh, toast as well. Um, this werewolf attacks, uh, badly injures this vampire right in front of it. Um, uh, this werewolf turns, there's no other people in here except that guy, right? <coughs> turns and rushes Adine. Great. Is he um, poisoned? Or no? Yeah, he is poisoned, I think. Is he poisoned? Yes, he is poisoned. Great. Um, rushes you, what's your AC? 12. Ooh, okay. Um, this werewolf. Uh, I, and he, oh, you already rolled it. I did already roll it, but I don't. Okay. I didn't tell you what it did, so you can tell oh, me okay. to replace something. Oh, okay, so he gets a seven. On his first one or on his, his second one? Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh. ha. First one, okay. Claw misses, bite hits. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, I'm going to need you to make First of all, oh, my dad's you take be so unhappy. five points of damage. Okay. All right, we're gonna bring out the box of doom. Uh, Adine, this is a Constitution saving throw. You go ahead and take the box. Thank you. Thank you. The DC for contracting lycanthropy is twelve. I'll tell you that right off the bat. Uh, what's your so bonus Constitution saving throw? Two, so I gotta get a ten or more. A or ten 11 or, or more. Ten or more. And a nine or lower means I'm a werewolf. Go ahead and roll in the box of doom. Thirteen. Oh. Oh. What'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen! Oh, oh, oh my 
Uh, oh, you feel girl. the wound in your arm fester as things try to place themselves Ugh. into you. I'll uh, take that box of doom. I'm like so much. genuinely like yeah. panic attacking a little bit. Uh, oh yeah, your character yeah, really is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be Kristen. Okay, um, I uh, look at my Bible, which has flown open, and I read, I can do all things through corn who strengthens me. And I uh, <laughs> use a spell to turn undead. Ooh, your turn undead action. Yes, nice. uh, that's awesome. That's yeah, actually a special girl. ability. Oh, cool, cool. Um, uh, uh, that's great. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I run through the door and then cast that so it's Hell in the yeah. other room? That would yeah, be great. I should have done that. <laughs> cool. So you're gonna run through here. There's gonna get one attack of opportunity on you. Where do you want to move to in this space? Do you want to move next to Fig or? Um, I want to go a little bit, a little bit in front of Fig. I think. Yeah. Okay, so you can go here because then 30 feet is gonna be pretty big. Yeah. Cool. Um. Uh, dope. Uh, one attack of opportunity on yeah. you, uh, which misses cool. uh, as the vampire ha, reaches out. Pshh, your halo glows brightly, defending you with the might of Helio, Sick. even though you guys are in a bit of a crisis of faith right now. But, we are, yeah. But in the moments that really count. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Helio's like <laughs> trying to reach out to you to be like, no, 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 we're cool, we're cool. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, but yeah, no, we'll see. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm also going to need you to make a perception check for me. Sure. Uh oh, just a. Uh... Do I have? Oh, 12. Uh, you bump into something as you rush through the doorway that you don't see. Oh, can I cast Arcana on that to see what? Uh, yeah, make an Arcana check. Sure, go for it. Not cast. Okay. Or just make an Arcana <laughs> yeah. check. Yeah. 11. Uh, oh, an invisible creature is right in the doorway. Um, but you see tons of undead in here as well. Um, all right, they're gonna make wisdom saving throws. Um, is it just zombies or uh, like vampires too or no? Uh, it is zombies and vampires, which are both undead. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna see how many beings you affect real quick. Uh, it's all within 30 feet of you. Um, Holy sh um, uh, Jeez, that's a lot of people. Okay, so that's everyone. That's both of those vampires. Nice. Uh, rad, okay. So that's all four zombies and three vampires. Um, cool. I'm gonna roll their saves real quick. What is your spell save, DC? Oh, that's uh, 14. Uh, 14, okay, damn. Um, uh, Kristen, uh, tell me what happens as you raise your, you speak those words through, uh, through Corner's strength, <laughs> raise your Bible aloft. What happens? This, you can feel, is something mighty working through you. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I raise my Bible and I hear that frat boy god voice. It's like, <laughs> hey, look. It feels like you're mad at me, and I'm like, shut up! <laughs> but then all this shit happens in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, my child, that things are not chill between us. If they are not chill between us, let them be chill before you! The light of the sun emanates from your book. All of these zombies turn going, Aah! burned by the light of the true god of corn. Uh, fleeing from your visage. Both of these vampires shriek in pain and uh, fear. This vampire turns to face you, and the darkness clouds around him. Cool. Ooh, do you think your little solar caress can possibly stop the flow of my midnight whisperings? <laughs> Dude, could you just like button up your trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. buttons fell off 200 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I didn't have time to. What? What, what were you, you doing? Oh, do you time? think a lot of tailors are open when I'm around <laughs> and doing stuff? You could just learn how to do yeah, it. Just... I won't. I'm a noble. Um, Are, do you know uh, Fabian? <laughs> <laughs> you also have your spiritual weapon, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and your spiritual weapon can attack if you'd like. I would like to attack that guy. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your spell attack. A uh, nat one! This is insane. Um, you see that your corn kind of pokes him a little bit in the face. <laughs> and you see he goes, Ooh, you're kinky like that. You want me to do something to the corn? Uh, yeah. I can do something. And he's jaw unhinged like a snake, and he kind of fillets the corn a little bit. Hot, very hot. Oh. oh. This is what I think. Oh, have you never been exposed to this? No, I think it's fine. I think I accept everyone. I, I have an uncle. It makes it less good for me if you accept it. You get that, right? Um, sure. Uh, 
Let's fight. Let's hey. fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is going to be uh, what humans are even left. Uh, oh yeah, this these two bartenders straight up dip. Uh, rushing through this room. Oh, my cover. <laughs> uh, rushing out. And into into those two uh, Into those werewolves. Mm. Um, and my dad. <laughs> and your dad. Um, <laughs> that guy's dead. Oh, this guy's gonna f run. Um, he makes it here behind his other werewolf. Um, she rushes back through here and goes and hides in this booth. That's um, a human? That's a human, yes. Um, Get out from around there. <laughs> Ah! Um, uh, and then... Daddy! <laughs> um, he really is like an older yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too old for this place. Oh, He's like well, Margaritaville meets a, like, right? a yeah. demon. He went to CBGB's in the 70s. Uh -huh. some of them uh, that's going to now be fake. That's amazing. Okay. I would like to move... So, one, two... Three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. That's how far I can go. So no one gets a tax of opportunity on me here, right? If I move here. Um, if I uh, go. Oh, if you move there? Yeah. Uh, no, no one gets a tax okay. opportunity. Okay. And then I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast. Uh, where is it? Shatter, aka shred, um, on this, on uh, on these ten or this uh, 10 diameter mm -hmm. thing. I will warn you that casting a spell that deals damage to those undead will break the turning effect that is on them. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I hit a 10 diameter thing around here? Sure, if you want to try to f up uh, the turn The DJ. Table. Yeah. You could hit those two zombies in front, the, D the DJ and his booth. Okay, that's what I'm gonna try and hit. Sweet. Um, so I take out my bass guitar and I hit uh, a, a really, really low note and uh, it's like so low and powerful and like, yeah. So cool. Just deep and vibrating and uh, cool. And uh, they have to make 3d8 thunder damage. Uh, hell yeah. Let me go wow. ahead and roll and their also, constitution saves. What is your spell save, DC? My spell save, DC, is 14. Uh, 14, okay. 14. And also, any non-magical items will, uh, will take damage. Any non-magical items will take damage, yeah. gotcha. Um, cool. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm so nervous right now. And then DJ Brains is gonna make one of those. Uh, 14. Uh, and then his turntable. Uh, cool. Um, the turntable seems unaffected by the spell. It seems to have some kind of magic involved with it. Okay. Uh, one of the zombies and DJ Brains both fail yeah. their saving. <sighs> okay, seven. Nice. Eight. They take 20 damage. The ones who failed their yes. saves take 20 Anyone damage? Anyone who fails takes 20 damage. Uh, holy <laughs> As you raise your finger up, time slows. And the one string, you can see the waves of the string on Fig's face. Uh, uh, the, the zombie here uh, is just torn apart by the power of rock. Sick. Um, That's right, this is real music. Uh, the turntable cracks in half and DJ Brains is thrown up against the wall behind him. Yeah! And then I turn to Kristen Applebee's and I give her a wink. She's got bardic inspiration. Why is, why uh, is this happening Brains, to me tonight? Uh, <laughs> DJ Brains is hurt but not down. And uh, his turntable is cracked in half, but he looks like he's still got some cards up his sleeve. Um, that is now going to be uh, DJ Brains. Oh, you see that he reaches into his thing, takes out like a tiny little Bluetooth speaker kind of thing, and a stinking cloud of like vibrating musical energy just. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, I don't know how to put it other than this music stinks. It smells bad. You hear it being like. And I'm gonna need you, my man, to make a constitution saving throw. You got it. Gonna roll a 20, so watch out for that. 
15, so that's a uh, 16. 16? Yeah. You save, my man. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, that is now going to be Fabian's turn. Uh, Fabian, how? Is there music still playing? Uh, uh, yes, through this little Bluetooth speaker that he just dropped. Okay, great. Uh, Fabian's like, I don't want to get involved. No, I, I, He's no, making himself like a What are you talking about? This like is the opportunity to be a ball. hero. I'll oh. take it. Uh, I'm going to, I don't like being trapped behind this bar. Uh, can I, uh, I'll take an attack of opportunity from this guy, I guess, to vault the bar over here, or to exit the bar here. Uh, that'll be, let's see if that works out. Sure. Um, Mrs., uh, you go ahead, give me that uh, acrobatics. Uh, yeah. 24. Hell yeah. Vault the bar. I can see that everyone else is attacking this DJ Brain. Yes, absolutely. I'll take a hand cross for a DJ Brain. Uh, go for it. Uh, it'll be 17. 17 is a hit. Uh, and that'll be six. Six damage. Um, uh, arrow straight to this guy's side. He's looking sad. He's looking like a sad zombie DJ. Um, yeah. uh, vampires are going to rush in. Um, these two vampires, um... Were they feared? Or uh, they yes, they're turned, oh, so... Okay. Um, a werewolf's gonna take a swing at one of them. Miss uh, is gonna interact with those werewolves in there. Uh, other vampires gonna move in. This guy's gonna take a swing at you. The rest of these guys are gonna start coming through here. So, one, two, three. Are those baddies? These are baddies and they're surrounding Kristen. Mm. Um, rushes over here. How's track going? Tracker's not doing great. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's gonna actually run over here uh, to go get some silver weapons. There's just a um, box of silver weapons or something. So the vampires surrounding Kristen are gonna go. Uh, the guy in front of you, who's referred to himself as the Lord of Sha uh, Lord of Whispers a couple times, mm -hmm. he's gonna take a swing at you. Ew. He's gonna hit you first with a sword for four points of damage. Okay. And then uh, he's going to reach out uh, it hits you again for another uh, eight points of damage. Oh, I'm dead. Shit. Are you really? Yeah. Anybody else have severe wounds or anything? Yeah, I can heal her. Uh, you see that uh, the other vampires, that guy drops Kristen. Uh, these other vampires then are going to actually continue their move towards Fig. What, me? I'm just an innocent girl playing her guitar. <laughs> Why is you coming after me? I didn't get to bless anyone. Uh, that's now going Probably. to be um, Adine. I mean, I guess I'll f***ing witch bolt the guy in front of me. Go for it. How f***ed up is this guy looking? Uh, he's looking um, not terribly fucked up. Great, then I would like to cast it as a second level spell. Okay, great. Yeah, go for it. Um, are you gonna take a move away from him? Because I know that it's bad to do it right next to somebody. Okay. Uh, if I withdraw, will he... Um, He'll get an attack, get of, an opportunity. attack of opportunity on me? <laughs> man. He'll probably just get a swipe, though, not like a bite. Yeah, all right. A... Well, I'll move back 10 feet and do this. Should oh. you? Can you move forward 10 feet? No, I can't get past uh, him. What's your AC? 12. Punch him. <laughs> uh, he goes ahead and hits you for uh, seven points of damage. Claw. Okay. So I'm gonna do this uh, Witch Bolt, second level, uh, 14. 14 hits. Great. So it's 2d12 damage. Hell yeah. Four. What? Oh. A nat one? Yeah. Uh, this bolt leaps out from your hands. Oh, it hits him, damaging him, for sure. Um, zombies are gonna go. Now these guys all move over here. Um, <laughs> Jesus, Adon. How are we gonna get you out of this one? No. <laughs> Adon, I'm in mean, mean, such a it. different fight than anybody else right you now. Need to, you need to just go home. I think he needs <laughs> to go home. He's a werewolf. I know, I'm but stuck there's like two werewolves, werewolves over here. attack on you. What are you at, health one? 10. I think you need to... He's a werewolf outside. Well, I'm stuck between hide. two werewolves. So. I mean, I think that they know where I am. 
Uh, Gorgon, what are you at, my man? Or what's your AC again? 13? 13. He's wow. attacking me. Oh, all those people? Oh. Wow. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Hey, thank you, Gorgon. Oh, wow. Thank you. Hey, you got half uh, damage, that's dude. That's going to be six, so then three, and then three, so then one. So four damage altogether. Wow. See? Wow. You Nothing. Can, you can take it. I'm still at 17 now. Oh, yeah. uh, and then two are going to swing at I haven't taken any damage. Fabian. <laughs> One of them hits Fabian. Oh, finally. Four seven points of damage. Oh, wow. God. All right. Perfect timing. Uh, those are the zombies. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I need the zombies out here. Um, oh, yeah, this guy. Um, uh, he'll go take a swing at Gorgug as well. Oh, no. Uh, and he misses. Um, there you go. Uh, oh, and then the zombies surrounding Riz are gonna take some swings. What's your AC, my man? Fifteen. Fifteen. Have you also taken no damage? With the I've, no I've taken some damage. Oh, okay. I still have a I've taken damage. damage too. That's why. I oh, wait, fifteen? You said? Yeah. Okay. You take uh, five points of damage. Uh, and Riz, it is your turn. Great. I'm going to stab this guy in his face. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Uh, and I, st oh. I still have my insight on him. It lasts for a minute. Oh, awesome. So I get 2d6 and a d8. Oh, yes. 19 damage. Uh, tell me what happens here. Oh, hell yeah. I say, I don't know what you had to do with it. You just seem like some kind of fucked up zombie guy, but this is for those girls, you son of a <laughs> And I stab him through his <laughs> brain stem. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, uh, he prepared his own uh, yeah, obituary. <laughs> uh, DJ Brains collapses to the stage, <gasps> oh, turns into endless dust. <sighs> Ages a thousand years in an instant. <sighs> On the wind, let the beat drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and is gone, baby. DJ I'd like Brains. to yell to the room, uh, sorry guys, it's everyone's curfew. Everyone go home. Oh, Party's yeah. over. Oh my God. Party's dead. over, I'm everyone. I'm dead, but I'm still going, no. Sorry guys, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and we all should be home. Does this one really think he's cooler than the hacker dude? Sir. Jesus. Um, I hate that. <laughs> you guys see all throughout the bar that there is a momentary boom, shock wave of energy. Vampires, werewolves, all real. Uh, momentarily as their rage and bloodlust is subsiding for a moment. Uh, you see all of the zombies drop. Uh, all the zombies uh, deanimate, fall apart all at once. So many zombies. I had no idea what happened. Oh no! Yeah. All the hot zombies are down now. Oh, <laughs> Roth goes just to see one of those butts up close. <laughs> um, real quick. Uh, uh, Adine, uh, the werewolf in front of you uh, uh, it, it sort of looks woozy for a second. Um, I'm going to need you to uh, you have a moment of breathing in and realizing that you aren't dead, uh, and then you realize that you almost just died. Could you please roll for a panic attack? <laughs> Nine. All together? What do you add but, to? What do I add to that? Uh, wisdom. Oh, uh, 11. Hey! Oh. You breathe in, control your breathing, everything is good. Uh, you see that the werewolf stumbles down to the ground. <laughs> um, Kristen is still dropped. Uh, uh, does anyone take any action? Uh, we're coming out of initiative now as you see people kind of reeling from the violence. I, can I healing word her though, even though it's not an initiative? Yeah, it's a, it's a regular action, you can totally healing word. Okay, yeah, I look over to her and I play like, um, and I, and I play. Lemony <laughs> 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 song, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the video no. just has to oh. uh, Go ahead and roll to see how much uh, Kristen has uh, just healed. Okay. <sighs> Girl, that's gonna be. <clears throat> it's gonna be uh, eight. Dang. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, you are healed eight hit points of damage. Uh, as you guys are standing around, there's a weird tension. Um, you see that uh, uh, looking around, um, one of the werewolves sort of walks uh, in from the other space, looks at one of the vampires holding the silver weaponry, and goes, You holding silver? 
And even through all the shattered bar stools and all the stench of blood and the kind of moaning, uh, you see that the vampires and werewolves start to sort of regard each other through the window. Uh, it, you guys may not be out of harm's way yet. Really quick question, am I wearing any silver jewelry? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're wearing some silver jewelry. Some sterling silver. Wait, uh, but I think I'm kind of on the side of the, uh, I think I'm on the side of the werewolf. I yeah, so. Let's get out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I run up and I grab sing. Riz off the table. <laughs> okay. I happily go up and do Zars. I, I help uh, Kristen up. Thanks. Uh, yeah. You rush over, grab Kristen. Uh, you see that the vampires start, uh, uh, these, this guy over here, Sasha, Lord of Whispers, goes, uh, Long have the vampires and werewolves fought each other. An ancient rivalry forged in the midnight of d dangerous mists long past. I'm bored. Uh, wait, <laughs> can I? He's such a creep. Oh, wait, I don't have that. Werewolves, look, his swords are silver. Okay. What's he doing with silver sword? I grab Riz and say, stop it. Uh, <laughs> stop doing I, that. I pull on Gorga uh, and just quietly to the side say, can we take the long way out? I just want to see if Tracker's okay. My friend. Uh, my new friend. Fine. <laughs> run. And uh, run. You guys rush out uh, through Wait, the Shattered Glass. real quick, who is, Lord of, who is the Lord of Shadows going to be fighting? Uh, is he up against someone uh, at all? Lord of Whispers uh, has come out over here to near where Gorgug was as these werewolves have kind of uh, muscled in through this space. Okay, here. I'm going to wink and give one bardic inspiration to whoever's <laughs> fighting the Lord of Whispers. <laughs> Uh, you see that there's a very broad-shouldered lupine woman with sort of orange hair growing out of her fur. <laughs> just like, she just Incredible. looks like a beefy. So beefy. Nice. Uh, you wink at her and she goes, Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she on the other side, sister. I hope so. Rears a fist back and just cold cocks the Lord <laughs> with her yeah. face. Sick. Oh, look at this mangy curse striking me before the <laughs> rules of combat have been declared. Uh, you guys, Dip out of here. Uh, you to the front. Um, no sign of Zane Dark Shadow anywhere. The bar clears out as you can hear more <laughs> police sirens in the distance. Uh, uh, you guys rush up to Adam. Adam in the front, the werewolf has kind of gotten up off his legs. He's still in that werewolf form. You see, he goes, hey, oh, and he sees the claw mark on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that really hurt. <laughs> What are you doing, man? It's not know. me, you know, it's a, it's a sickness. Can't... I'm sick, I'm just sick, I'm not well. Look, man, we're all sick. Okay, we're not all sick, <laughs> all right? I have lycanthropy. You can go to a healer about it. Okay, well, maybe you should go to a healer about it. I don't have health care. <laughs> oh, that's so go sad. To some, wow. Go to a clinic. Yeah. I don't know what to I'm tell sorry. you. Do you want it? There's some guidance counselor positions opened at our school. <laughs> they have good health care there? I, yeah, I, I would imagine that they have school. benefits. Uh, okay, wow. we're telling them. Yeah, cool. actually, uh, <laughs> well, you, you, you teed it up. You teed this up. Yeah, the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. So that's great. All right. Well, my yeah. name's yeah. Jawbone. If you want to put <laughs> in a <laughs> reference, uh, yeah. yeah. Mumble has right. better healthcare. Um, I got uh, it in with the VP vice principal, so um, I could probably make that work. Thanks, Jawbone. Sorry, um, guys. You guys are better. You guys rush out. Jawbone looks. Like, you know, you don't know this guy super well, but he looks like, hey, this is the first kind of lucky break I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, no. Um, All right, Joe. <laughs> uh, you guys see, uh, you guys dip out of there. You rush out the front door. Um, you see that Rover has been, like, restraining the bouncer from fully wolfing out uh, and has been remarkably successful in doing so, almost <laughs> as though it was inspired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What? By our heroism? <laughs> no, by a magical ability from your bard. Uh, <laughs> you guys get out, you hear sirens in the distance, you're in seedy f downtown Elmville. What are you guys gonna do? Let's my keep mom's the party gonna be pissed going. if she finds me here. Let's get out. Yeah. Go to someone's that... house. We can't go to my house. I uh, my I parents are pranks. I do live right around the corner. Let's so. go to your house. Yeah, let's okay. Go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we could weigh the other option. Fine. Friends. 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 Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Okay. Friends. Everyone, everyone Joe, please stop changing. Okay. Feed. Now that you mention it, I don't usually like to. I know that probably I'm pretty hard to read. You guys don't really know what I'm feeling, but we are. Kind you of, like, have <laughs> spilled your guts to us. He was the most twice a day. You are the one who Buzz Dads really wants friends. <laughs> nah, it's just like, All right, we yeah. should go. All right, fine, we, let's, we'll go to my house. Uh, okay. You guys rush, go ahead and give me like a stealth 
check. Uh, you guys can, if you guys want to, uh, uh, I'll let the, whoever wants to make the stealth check can make it for the party with disadvantage. Well, I got a 15, personally. You got a 15, personally? Okay, oh. cool. I got an 18 minus oh, so I got, I got a 15. I got a nat 20 to a net disadvantage. I rolled it a second time to do disadvantage, and I got a nat 20. Oh, so I still only get a 15. Uh, so you still only get a 15. But that's great. So the group meeting, you hide the group really well. You guys see Fig seems to know like the back alleys and divey parts of downtown. Can I also be smoking so many cloves that the, the smoke is hiding us? <laughs> and that's how we're smoking. You are so fully sweating, powering through cloves as fast as you can. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and constitution <laughs> save <in> the <laughs> Smells like oh, potpourri. <laughs> That's gonna be a four. You straight up barf. <laughs> yeah. You're just Riz like, also ah. barf seeing you barf. Ah. All right, everyone needs to stop barfing, all right? No one's coming in my house. There's no barf being brought in my house. Barf. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> Nine. Gorgon barks and passes I, out. Uh, <laughs> all right, you know what? Everyone is going to get bring new clothes. Back, throwing up on Gorgon as I try to bring him back. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you emerge. Everybody walked out of that <laughs> insane music venue, and now you're <laughs> dropping like flies because of the amount of clove cigarettes they just love, I just like, love the way they taste. <laughs> You're still smoking. You're like Homer just Simpson eat in candy. Country. I think you guys got a carry. It just like tastes so good. Uh, by hook or by crook, amazingly, you are not tracked, but you are covered in your own bile. You make it to see Caster Manor. You see the incredible red and gold man of war brought up in the middle of a topiary hedge mage of hedge maze expanse with long white gravel driveways and everything else. Uh, and you guys arrive up at the door of Sea Caster Manor. All right, welcome to my house. Everyone, please, if, if there's any barf, you don't track barf into my house. All right, please, that's all I ask. Uh, you look over at the sofa and you see uh, you see Fabian's mom. Oh, hello, mom. Fabian. Oh, Fabian. how are you? Oh, mother. Oh, uh, you what? You've brought friends? Yes, mother, these are my friends. This is the ball, Kristen, Adine, Gorgug, and Fig. Hi, I'm Fig. I love your kimono. This thing? Yeah. It was knit for me by dwarves. Skilled craftsmen. Dwarves knit you a kimono? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I give her a very formal elven Uh She looks up at you as you speak in elven to her and speaks back to you in elven and says, Many long years has it been since I was spoken to in the tongue of stars and moon. A beautiful elf maiden you are. I married a human, you see. And Isn't it? And he will die. Dude, I think your mom's bi. Okay, no, but no one is hitting on my mother right now, no, right? I'm, I also speak Elvish. I speak Elvish, too. I also speak Elvish, <laughs> all right? So let's all just keep it PC. Um, I'm, I look like a tiefling, but I'm like a part elf, so I'm also an elf maiden, if that's what you're into. She looks, completely ignores you, and oh, just God, looks uh, right at Adine and goes, you're, wait a minute, you're Angwin and Erianwen's daughter. Yes, that's right. I've heard such wonderful things about you. I've, uh, the, uh, the, the acceptance, the scholarship to Hudal. No, that's my sister. Hmm? That's my sister. Erianwen is the elder. You are yes. the... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I'm friends with your son. Yes, we're friends. Oh, Fabian, lovely. I'd like to see you make friends, my little baby. Oh, mama. So handsome. Oh, stop, mama. <laughs> uh, a heartbreaker through and through. Oh, no, it's, it's not like uh, Well, mommy's going to go get a chalice of night wine, and she's going to retire to the sensory deprivation egg. In of course. The Oh. Yes. We'll keep the noise down. All right. Do you want me to have Cathil to put out some food? Oh, no, there's no need. No, I'm pretty uh, hot. I'm hungry. No, my yeah. friends are... I'll, I'll go wake Cathil up, up and make her make Do not... I eat cereal with water. Ta-ta. So. <laughs> uh, your mom is so hot. Okay, do not talk about my mother like that. Um, you guys uh, uh, look around. Eventually, Cathilda, the halfling maid, kind of comes up. And Hello, she... Cathilda. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? You're doing all right? I'm doing right. We had a rather crazy night, but really, you don't have to do too much, all right? They're just, my friends are peggish. I'll put out some snacks right away then, Shella. All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, 
lovely, lovely. Um, you see that she uh, runs up into the kitchen. Um, uh, you guys hear a stomping of boots uh, as Bill Seacaster walks into the room. Um, Bill Seacaster walks in, uh, looks in and goes, well, look at this, then. A bunch of fine friends from a young lad. Yes, Papa. These are, uh, these are my friends from the Adventuring Academy. Uh, we've had a rather wild night. Uh -huh. Well, it looks like it. You've gotten yourself into some kind of scrap then, have you? Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> I, I tried to do the same formal elven greeting to his father. <laughs> what was that? What are you doing? I here? don't speak a word of Elvish, lass. Oh. I'm not a man of letters. I've come from nothing and made rather something of myself. Oh, I, I just, um, I, I was just saying hello. Right, well, hello to you as well, in the common tongue, then. <laughs> I hand him a business card. Greetings and salutations. Well, as I said, I'm not a man of letters, <laughs> so I can't read. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Papa, um, this is the ball, uh, Kristen, uh, Adine, Gorgug, and Fig. Hey, oh. if you're not a man of uh, letters, uh, I got something I think you might like. And then I take out my bass and I play a, uh, I play a uh, sea shanty. Uh, go ahead and make a performance check. <laughs> Oh. oh, 25, baby! 25? <laughs> uh, the f sickest, shantiest bass line comes running out of your uh, uh, guitar. And you see that Bill Seacash looks at you and goes... This is good. Sally Brown is a nice young lady! Way! We're all in go! <laughs> Come out, you dogs! And a bunch of pirates just swing in on ropes. <laughs> Pop out of barrels. This happens a lot in this house. Uh, I barrel this whole time. I pay him to stay here in case this happens, and he'll stay in the barrel until it does. You stay in the barrel until the music happens. Oh, uh, clapping his hands and silently <laughs> weeping. It's I like, feel oh. like I need to play for eternity so I don't have to go yeah, back in the barrel. In the Keep playing, lass. Okay. We'll sing till the sun rises. All right. Two, three. Sally Brown is a nice young lady. Play, we're all let go. That's all for this week on Fantasy High. Tune in next week and thanks for watching. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to run you through some training. There are two kinds of men in this world. A man who fights for gold is a man who knows why he's fighting. Has anybody seen Zane? Yeah, you know okay, that's what I was going to get back to. I was going to know what of Zane. Cravencroft is a very spooky cemetery. Oh my god, what the f is that? <laughs> what the f is that? What kind of hell is that? Master, I am ready to serve. Baby f***ing blast <laughs> through the chain link fence. Oh, no. oh good <laughs> show, motorcycle. Or start going, crash, 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 crash. Well, that's all for today on Dimension 20. But be not afraid. Do not shed a tear. There are two more full episodes that you may watch right now on Dropout! Just venture to dropout.tv and begin your free trial at once! I need you right now, Emily Axford, to verbally describe a sexy rat. <laughs>